What's going on guys, Draven here, and as you guys know, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 releases in less than a month, and I, myself, am totally down. I'm so freaking excited for this game. I have not been this excited for a Call of Duty in years. So as you guys know, Call of Duty does a podcast called Cod Pod, and they announced some awesome announcements today during that podcast, such as the first little teaser trailer for Nuketown. I can't wait. It's, it's an all-time favorite for everybody. I think everyone can agree it's an all-time favorite map. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump into this first, and then we're going to check out some of the more information that got released today during the COD pod. That being said, like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Oh, my God. Dude, the vibe. It's giving me that green run vibe. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. It's so good. Yeah, boy. There is just some sort of feeling going back and hopping on Nuketown. Any Call of Duty, like any day of the week, guys. I, I, I can't express this enough. How excited I am for this game. I have not felt this excited for a Call of Duty in absolute, like, four years at least. At least. I have not been this excited. I am at my top of the line excitement. I played the beta, and I don't play Call of Duty betas. I played this beta... Phenomenal. It, it felt smooth. The Omni movement was cool. Uh, it, the graphics, obviously, it's Call of Duty. It looks like normal. Uh, but, man, everything just has me on my seat, bro. I'm seated for Nuketown. Don't give me... Like, I am seated for Nuketown. I'm ready. Like, I'm absolutely ready. So, getting into some Liberty Falls news that was announced on the COD Pod. Treyarch confirms they've heard feedback on the Black Ops 6 Zombies map, Liberty Falls. The map will have changes to the tone and look to feel more zombies-like and atmospheric changes. I'm kind of thinking we're getting some weather changes during the games, which is really, really cool. It makes it feel way more creepy than just daylight. I'm glad they're not doing just absolutely daylight. Like, night maps look better for zombies. Now, multiplayer maps, yes, you could do the daytime, but night maps just look absolutely stunning at night for, for zombies. It's just how it's made, bro. It's it, it's creepy, gives that vibe. A daytime map uh, in like a 1990s town just does not ring bells for me, man. It just, it absolutely doesn't. So changing the atmosphere definitely has me a little more intrigued than before. Activision also says a few of the HUD elements in Zombies are also getting touched up. Based on feedback, official details on the changes will be shared soon ahead of Black Ops 6's launch, which is amazing. So they're going to be announcing this stuff before the game is actually out, which is awesome, which is fantastic. They are listening to our criticism. Like, they, they are absolutely listening to it. Uh, we, we like the HUD just like Black Ops 3. Like, that's the HUD that we like. Not Black Ops 4 or Cold War. Those just, they suck. Black Ops 3 has a great HUD. It really does. I think Black Ops 6 could even pull off a better HUD if they if they listen to what we're telling them, and hopefully they are, because, you know, that would be amazing. Activision also confirms on the COD pod that another new round-based zombies map will arrive for Black Ops 6 before the end of the year. So I'm thinking early December, maybe late December, uh, we're getting another new Call of Duty map, which is great. So we'll get two to three on top of launch, basically, which is awesome, which is fantastic. It's super exciting. I can't wait. I'm excited for zombies. I, I just, I love zombies, bro. I just, I love it. Activision also says on the COD pod that Black Ops 6 zombies will have more support for in-game events compared to previous zombies experiences. That sounds interesting. I don't know really what that entails. Um, in-game events kind of has like dog vibes feeling. I mean, it's going to be a little different than that, but in-game events could be cool. Um, hopefully we'll see this and it'll have more players intrigued to play zombies and some of the biggest news we have from the call of duty zombies cod pod we have kevin sherwood is confirmed to composing new songs for call of duty black ops 6 zombies easter eggs two of them will be available at launch one for each map now this is huge kevin sherwood has done all the call of duty zombie easter egg songs like he is just like it, he's amazing he's absolutely amazing i'm not sure who's coming back to sing hopefully the original people come back to sing the songs that were in the original Call of Duties, but man, I, I love it. Kevin Sherwood, I'm down, bro. I'm absolutely down. That basically wraps up every single thing that was announced on the COD pod for Call of Duty Zombies. Now, we are excited. I'm excited. I hope every single person watching this video is excited for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. It's gonna be great. Uh, just trust me, trust Treyarch, trust the process. It's gonna be great. It's going to be great. It might not feel like Black Ops 3, but it's definitely going to feel damn close. And I am excited. If you guys are excited, let me know down in the comment section below. Like this video if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.